Hey guys, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of DevOps Resume Review. Now, today's video is very interesting because the resume that I'm going to review today is of a DevOps intern. Now, this intern is in third year now, but when she applied for an internship, she used this resume to get an internship and she has written all of the stuff in her resume, like what are the technologies that she has worked on and, and I'm going to discuss the whole format. This is a very basic format and again I'm saying that there is no perfect resume. There are multiple things available online and there are multiple resume formats available online. So you can select anyone, but I'll show you an example which helped her bagging an internship. Okay, so uh, before moving further in this video, I would like to request that if you're new over here, kindly subscribe to the channel because it supports me to create more content like this. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see on my screen, there is a resume in front of me. It's a very simple resume. It's just of one page. That's the best thing about this resume is it has very less clutter, no, almost no clutter at all. And then it is just a one page resume. So if you are looking for an internship for an internship or, or you are a fresher, make sure that you complete your resume within one page. Okay, so now on the left, you can see the person has given her name that D uh, this is not the exact name. I have changed the details because I don't want to make the things public as promised. And then the phone number is where you can edit your phone number. Yeah, the email which you can edit and the address where you live or something uh, like the pin code or something. So uh, the thing about this is which I actually don't like is you do not need to give your address. So do not give your address. Where do you live? Uh, the state, the city, the pin code is just fine. You do not have to give your village name. You do not have to give your uh, apartment name or your flat name, flat number or your house number. Do not give that. So you can just remove that clutter. So that's one thing I want to edit, uh, add. And this is just a sample photo from the internet. And this is not the real person's photo. So uh, you can add your picture over here. That's uh, that's one thing I don't I don't feel like putting. But if you want, you can put. And if you're a fresher and uh, or in, you're applying for an internship, it's fine to give a picture so that see what happens many a times when you give a picture and if it's a professional picture, then it adds more value to your resume. So if you're a fresher or an internship, you can use that. All right. Now, uh, the first heading is a personal profile. And then in that she has written ambitious and self esteemed engineering student. Engineering student means she was already uh, studying and she was in second year now she moved to the third year so she applied for an inter internship after second year who is capable of applying technical skills for the refinement of the company now she was interested in devops and cloud services that's why she wrote this line you can change it accordingly if you're from dev testing or any other background or you want to apply in that you can change that blend of creative mindset and leadership qualities who's looking for forward to work in a competitive environment that can boost her overall le learning okay so this is you can uh, change it accordingly or you can remove it. But just make sure that this is just for an internship. You if you are already uh, into a profession and you have like three years of two years or five years of experience, do not write that because nobody reads that. Okay. Now uh, on her technical skills in her two years of engineering, she learned about the languages, which is shell scripting, bad scripting, and then she studied about the database as MySQL. In the languages, I think of uh, first year, we already have C or C++ and then she did a course on Python as well. Uh, on my channel, there is a course for Python as well. So if you want to go for it, feel free to go for it because it's for beginners. And then web servers, app servers, Tomcat. IDE is integrated development environment. She went for Eclipse. Visual Studio Code is not an IDE. It's an editor. It's just an editor. So uh, just make sure that you do the changes. Okay. OS operating system, she has written Windows and Linux. Linux is very important for your DevOps that I've said multiple times. And then source control, she already has done GitHub. In continuous integration, she was uh, doing Jenkins courses as well. She has done a minor project in that. In the cloud technology, she has written Google Cloud. So these, I think these things are enough for you to land an internship. And even if you are a fresher and you know this, there is a high chance that you can land a job if you have done a few projects. Okay. And then the section of academic qualification, uh, she passed her 10th class in 2018 with 79.6%. Not, uh, it, it's not in 90s, it's not too much, but she has already landed a job. So if even if you have more than 
60 70 75 percent do not worry about that if you have technical skill you can easily land a job or a or an internship okay and then 2020 she has done 79.8 percentage class 12th and after that in 2022 which is the second year of her engineering she's studying from cgc which is in landra i guess computer science punjab technical university till date she has 76 percent and then btech was the course name so you can use it so these these are the tables in this doc format now in the profile she has given three links linkedin github and portfolio now this was the real link that she has given but i actually have removed it from it because i don't want her to make pro her profile public over here okay so how do you do that so what you can do you can copy this https from uh, if you are on linkedin i can give you an example of uh, my linkedin so let me open up i'll just open linkedin for you guys and i'll tell you how do you do that so if you want to open linkedin so this is something uh, you do like go over here in me go to view profile and then you can see your profile over here just uh, you can just copy this copy this part minimize this and placed it over here okay just control v over here and then if this goes awful do it like this and just make sure that this link is clickable so if you want to check that you can right click over here and then you there is an option of uh, edit hyperlink go over there and then you can just control a control v and then make sure okay okay so this is perfect now if you click over here it will open a link for you and you can see that it has open a link for you okay so this is how you do it let me close this again for github you can do that uh, same thing you just have to open a github profile so how do you do that you can just open a github profile for example if i do a logic ops lab so you can see here is the profile just copy this minimize this and just paste it over here okay if you want to edit the hyperlink you can do that as well control v control s hit enter and then you can see you would be able to do that okay let me control s now this is done okay same thing you can create a portfolio so this is portfolio is something like uh there is a github.io something where you can create your portfolio so let me show you github.io so it is something like this so you can go over here and there are github pages over here and you can create your profile over here what you do on general basis if you have done any project or something you can display it over here okay so this is one thing you can do now these things are important because a recruiter would be able to see what work you have done if you have created some project he would be he or she would be able to take a look at your github profile and that's very important and then you can place your courses over here which courses you have done so that uh, they might have an idea on that now if you have certifications place that over here certification because certifications are always better than doing courses because courses like udemy you can anyone can buy 500 600 rupees a few dollars you have to shell out and then you can just buy uh, a course and then go through it uh, going through a course is kind of not exactly a proof that you possess this knowledge but if you have a certification under your belt then it would be much great so if you have some kind of certification you can remove this and write certification certification some some kind and if you are if you have done something you can just remove it and write it for example if you have done az 900 which is entry level exam for cloud on azure and then there are i think cloud practitioner i guess cloud practitioner for practitioner i'm sorry if my spelling is cor uh, incorrect cloud practitioner for aws and then you have uh, ace exam for associate cloud engineer exam for gcp google cloud okay you can write like that so that's totally your choice okay let's move forward in the activities you can fill that what exactly you have done so if you are a part of some student welfare program if you are part of some uh, data structure uh, program or if you are a part of some uh, club you can write it over here and if you're like applying for a software job and if you are a part of like data structure society or a computer science society it society you can write that but uh, questions can be asked so just don't fill the resume you have to have some substance on it because they might ask you questions like what exactly you have done over here a lot of people put it uh, like president uh, at the society uh, computer science society but when they are asked question like what exactly was your roles and responsibilities in that society uh, they tend to not answer that because that's that's fake okay so don't do that and then worked as a coordinator in college events if you have done something feel free to be just be ready to answer the question because uh, today's resumes are generally all over the place nobody uh, nobody writes the actual information 
uh, I mean, not nobody. Uh, a lot of people just copy paste the resume, so don't do that. And then at the end declaration, I certify that the above furnished information is true to the best of the knowledge. You can even remove that. That's not necessary. And this is totally upon your choice. Like place, if you want to write Chandigarh or uh, you want to write Punjab or uh, Meerut or in any place, if you are in US, in any any place, Kentucky. So this can be completed in one page. Okay. So uh, that's that's one thing to do. And if you have been following this series, I've always told you like whenever you go go to file and then what you have to do, you just have to save as the resume and then you just have to uh, select a place. I think this PC is fine or DB is fine, and then you create can create a new folder or you can just go over here and then you just do the PDF save yes. And then you can see that there would be a resume in front of you. Now this is the resume in front of you, which is in the PDF format and which is ready to go. Okay. So uh, I hope you have liked the video and you have learned something. I can give you this format. I'll put a link and a link for my Google Drive. I'll put a link and in that you can just download this if you want to do. And uh, there are multiple uh, good looking resumes, uh, which I will share uh, in the upcoming videos. Uh, and I have received a, a lot of uh, these uh, resumes and that I have to review, which I'll be doing that. Okay. All right. So guys, uh, if you like the video, please uh, hit up, hit that uh, like button and subscribe to my channel because that supports me to create more content. Okay. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll see you in the next one.